after a pipe or two of pleasure dust. The Vagos. Bloodthirsty Jacanos with a predilection for pain, papaya juice, and spicy plantains. They're one of the largest Mexican street gangs in the city, with rumored connections to several major mafias. While half the battle out here is fought with guns, the other half is with informants. Sometimes you need to become the bad guys to bust the bad guys. All right, guys, let's go. When the ballas and the families aren't shooting each other, they're selling the dope that the junkies are shooting into their veins. The families love sports almost as much as they love banging. Flashy, arrogant, competitive, and aggressive, they are lifelong bitter enemies of the ballas. Wearing the colors of the feud or the corkers, the families call themselves gang green. Of course, like all families, they love a good squabble. Subdivided into sets, such as the Chamberlain Gangsters or the Carson Avenue set, it turns out the families love shooting each other almost as much as they love shooting ballas. Now the LSPD have had many run-ins with various family sets over the years. With the ballas, the FIB take a more community outreach approach. Hey, hey guys, stay out of trouble now. Suck my d in these fucking hands. Now the ballas fly the colors of the Los Santos Panic or the Boars, purple because they are the brews on the face of this city. While some thugs obviously prefer four wheels, other desperados prefer two. Leather, exhaust, and drugs. No, this isn't an exotic S&M party. These are one of the nation's toughest outlaw motorcycle gangs, the Lost. Rumors are they get a new tattoo for every person they stab. And it's definitely okay for your motorcycle mama to show her breast to your friends. The FIB has been tracking the lost for years. We've jumped from coast to coast and have spent more time in the Midwest than a tornado spotter. When they're not running meth, they're smoking it. Or so I hear a dangerous new drug on the streets called toilet cleaner. Of course, Vinewood being 